Today we're going to hit a chest and tricep workout. I want to make it a little bit different of a video. I'm going to take you all through everything. Pre-workout, the actual workout, and then post-workout. So uh, what I like to do before we go to the gym is get a something that I can seal the cap with. I don't like just using a glass of water, so I like drinking as I go. Uh, so I have water right here. I have some C4. I'm going to do... I've been noticing like I, I, I enjoy one in, like one to one and a half scoops of C4 more than I enjoy two scoops of C4. I'm not sure on the reasoning. It's just like, ah, there's one, and then there's just like a little bit more, so you can see, two, or one and a half. And then uh, I'll sip this on the way and chug it right before I actually walk into the gym. If I drink it now, it kind of hits me really quickly. So I recommend trying that out if you feel like you're not, if you're kind of crashing during a workout from pre-workout. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is take some NO3, Study Course NO3 pump product, just get three little capsules. I'm gonna head to the gym and instruct you all through my entire chest workout. I only like the headband from like this angle. What's up? Can we work out now? We're late. Just waiting on you. <laughs> I'm recording you. You just recorded things like 50 times. Christian records What's everything 5,000 times. Just wanted to say that the photo shoot got moved to next week, so I still have another five or six days to continue leaning down. Gonna get back on the normal program today, uh, which is why we're doing chest and try. All right, what's going on guys? Today I'm trying a little bit different uh, style slash approach to my video. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take you all through this entire workout and you're gonna be seeing, if you're watching this right now, obviously I'm kind of at the bottom of the screen, so it's like a different little, you're watching two separate clips, two different videos, but, um, and if you see me looking over here, it's because my computer's over here, so I'm looking at the footage as we go. But uh, I feel I'm very interactive with my hands. I talk a lot with, with my hands and stuff, so I feel like uh, it might benefit you all if I can, you know, just be more involved in the commentary. So uh, today I started out with chest, or chest and try, obviously, but started out doing some rotator cuff work. I always like to do, uh, I'll start here, and you can do them out with dumbbells or cables. Uh, I, I like dumbbells. I know cables, you keep that constant tension, but I feel like dumbbells are uh, another great alternative. I always go here, and then I'll go here. And then I'll warm up my uh, rear delt and, shrug, and traps by doing some shrugs like that, real light. So uh, I do about three sets of 10 to 15 on that, each one. So three sets, three sets, three sets. And then I uh, move on to my biggest compound movement for the day, which is gonna be incline dumbbell press. Now notice the angle here, guys. It's a very slight incline. Really focusing on hitting the upper chest, not letting the front delts dominate the lift. So you're doing the 105s. And uh, if you guys have been keeping up on the videos, my past bench press was very bad. Uh, my past workout with Ben from Chelsea was here. I only hit two or three reps with 275, which is not good. But uh, on the incline, my PR with the 105 is eight reps, and I hit seven today, uh, and I almost got that eighth rep. So I'm definitely very happy with that because I, the incline is what I've been emphasizing uh, over the last three, two, three months or so, as opposed to the flat bench. So very happy with that. And uh, after that first heavy set, I like to reverse pyramid work my workout. So I'm not, I don't start light and do 12, then 10, then eight, then six. And so what I like to do is I like to go as heavy as I can on my first set, and then I'll drop the weight as you're seeing here. So I drop the weight and I go for more reps. So I use, when I have the most energy, when I'm fresh, I like to do my heaviest set. And then as the sets go on, I, uh, today I did four working sets. So I drop the weight down every single set. And that's what I like to do, that's what I've been doing. And I enjoy that more because I feel like I don't have to limit myself on my sets leading up to my heavy set. Does that make sense? Because you can use all your majority of your energy on that main heavy, heavy compound set. Uh, moved on to some incline barbell. Now here you can see I have a pretty good arch in my back. Uh, because the incline is so high here and it's kind of awkward to put an incline adjustable bench into the bench, the more incline you get, the more you're kind of like lowering that angle. And so uh, be sure to get a good incline on that. And I did three working sets of the 10 to 12 rep range. And then I went ahead and did one set here as you're seeing, I was like, hey, show the weight, show the weight. Cause it's only 25 pounds. This whole barbell is 95 pounds. It's not even a hundred pounds that I'm using here. And uh, this is my very last set and just burning it out guys, going 15 to 20 reps. Uh, I'm a really big fan of this. Call it bro science, call it what you want. But I love uh, burning out on that last set with just lightweight. And uh, especially with the barbell, I feel like with the barbell, you just get an amazing burn and pump in your chest. So uh, try that out. And yeah, that was a total of seven, no, I'm sorry, eight working sets for the incline and uh, including this last burnout set. So seven heavy, you know, really working with the rep range and then one set where I'm just burning it out. 
After those two compounds moved over to some triceps. So this is chest and tricep day, uh, being sure that I'm giving enough volume to my chest and tri or my tricep. So here doing some push down, uh, just using an easy bar. So I'm not using a straight bar, I'm using the one that has a little bend in it because I feel like it's a little bit easier on the wrists over time. Using that easy, easy bar is gonna be a little bit uh, easier on your wrists over here. So feeling very flat here as well. Um, feeling flat, but feeling good. Uh, today in the gym is one of the, it's either like, I'm in it mentally, I'm focused, I have my headphones on, or I'm kind of like, I check my emails in between sets and I get off track, but today was one of those workouts where I was in the zone, feeling good. So after, uh, on that tr push down, I actually did like six sets, I want to say, guys. Uh, you know, I planned on doing four sets, but it felt so good. The movement felt so good. I felt my tries activating, and I wanted to keep going. So six total sets on that. And I'm only doing two tricep movements here, which you're going to see. Uh, well, pretty much two tricep movements. So don't be afraid to do a few extra sets um, if you're really feeling great. And moved on to some more inclines. So if you see a trend here, guys, incline dumbbell, incline uh, barbell, incline hammer strength. Really, really emphasizing the incline, even though I'm in deficit. I'm doing exactly what I was doing while I was bulking. I'm training the exact same way. Uh, yes, my volume is a little bit lower uh, than I was when I was bulking, but it's okay because I'm still feeling good during my workouts. I'm not fatiguing. I'm not, uh, you know, my weights aren't going down drastically, even though my weights are going down. It's staying very relative and uh, correlating my body weight to my strength. So that's my goal right now. Uh, more incline hammer, I mean, sorry, incline uh, dumbbell flies, as you're seeing here, low incline, not high incline. And uh, I want to go ahead and say that this past week, I purchased a, for the CG Fitness headquarters, a new one moving in. Hopefully before January 1st, I purchased an incline hammer strength and an incline decline. I mean, I'm sorry, an incline hammer strength and a decline hammer strength machine. So um, going to be loaded up on hammer strength pieces, which is going to be awesome. And for the second tricep movement, as you're seeing here, is the overhead extension with the cable. I uh, definitely like getting variety on these, but I feel like with the overhead, you really just get that stretch at the bottom of the movement. And just, I feel like with the cable, it's almost just pulling it down, pulling it down, and then going up. And don't be afraid. A lot of people say you have to keep your elbows you know, tucked in right here. And I like to, you know, let my elbows flare out just a little bit, and it feels natural to me. Uh, as long as you don't feel any discomfort, and you feel like you're, you feel the muscle working, keep doing what you're doing, guys. Uh, finished out, the reason I said earlier kind of two tricep movements is because I finished out with some dips. Uh, just two sets, as many reps as possible, an AMRAP set, A-M-R-A-P. If you ever see that, it just means as many reps as possible, as many reps as possible, uh, AMRAP. So two body weight sets right there, and then moved on to some ab work. Uh, I've been doing abs about three times a week, I'm trying to do them about two or three times a week. Uh, most weeks it's two to be honest, but really trying to get it up there. Uh, and just did some hanging leg raises, only two exercises here. Body weight hanging leg raises, and also some rope curls as you're about to see. So that's really gonna conclude the end on these. I only did, what, three sets each, about 15 reps or so, 12 to 15 reps. And uh, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching this commentary. Let me know if you enjoyed this style of video where I'm still in the screen talking to y'all with my hands. You can still see the workout. And uh, it's kind of like I'm commentating through here as opposed to just on the microphone. Uh, let me know any positive feedback and also I probably have a little song playing in the background so let me know if you'd like that music in the background or just kind of silence where you can hear me talk better oh th there we go I didn't need this clip but a little physique update guys uh, this is me about 167 ish so thank you for watching Christianisbound.com for online training and apparel you're about to see my post workout uh, little meal slash ritual thing and I'll see you on the next one All I'm having is two scoops of cellular protein post-workout and then I'm going to go. And it's not like really I require two scoops of protein or whey protein shake for fast digesting. But I do like to eat fairly soon after working out and this is very convenient. So having this and we stopped by Starbucks. We're on the way to San Antonio right now and picked up a chestnut praline. Chestnut praline. Latte. I got latte, uh, non-fat, double shot. So that's what I have fueling this car ride. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this instructional video is kind of helpful. I want to start doing more like these where instead of multiple days, it's just like cool information out to y'all and uh, hopefully you can help you all. So thank you. Subscribe to ChristianEasonline.com for online training and apparel. And I'll see y'all next week. Just trying to make an imprint on the game.